If you play Fortnite, Battle Royale, it is quite unlikely that you have never heard of Ninja. Most people consider him the number one Fortnite player and so do I. Even those who don't consider him the best player, they can't deny that he's at least in the top five. And when it comes to fan following, he's the most popular Fortnite player out there. For those who don't know, his real name is Tyler Blevins. He was also a professional Halo, H1Z1, and PUBG player. So, he is not new to the Battle Royale genre. In fact, he's one of those players who has mastered most of the Battle Royale games out there. He also started to play Realm Royale recently. What makes Ninja so special? The biggest reason for his popularity is his aggressive play style and one can learn various in-game techniques while watching his Twitch streams and YouTube videos. Also, his gameplay is entertaining and worth watching. To improve your Fortnite skills, you'll need the best settings and keybinds that pros. Like Ninja prefer. Instead of experimenting with various different settings, why not simply use the ones that are already proven to be good? Obviously, you won't get as good as Ninja just by using these settings. But you'll get a head start in the right direction. Before looking at his settings, here's a tip from Ninja on how to get better at Fortnite. Ninja's Fortnite in-game video settings. He has the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080T, so he can easily run the game at max settings and still manage a very high FPS. He has limited the frame rates to 240 FPS because he owns a 240Hz monitor with NVIDIA GSYNC support, Alienware AW2518H. If you have a 144Hz monitor, limit the frame rate to 144. Just keep it same as your monitor's refresh rate. If you own a good GPU, keep the display resolution and 3D resolution to the max. You should always keep the view distance to epic so that you can see the opponents that are far away. Ninja's Mouse Settings the mouse settings play the biggest role in your aiming and accuracy. Ninja uses the perfect settings and I prefer using the same settings as above. Earlier I used wrist aiming, but since I switched to arm aiming after watching Ninja play, my game improved a lot. I'll also show you how much Ninja moves his mouse while gaming later in this video. Most Fortnite pros, including Ninja use a mouse DPI of 800. You can change the mouse DPI from the control panel of your mouse. The rest of the settings can be changed from the in-game Fortnite settings. Also make sure that mouse acceleration is disabled in Windows as well on your mouse control panel. Other settings. Here are some other settings that you might be interested in. Yes, Ninja uses turbo building to build faster. If you haven't switched on that option yet, do it now. The matchmaking region closest to Ninja is North America East. You should choose only that matchmaking region which is closest to you and on which you're getting the lowest ping. Keybinds of Ninja. Here are the Fortnite keybinds of Ninja. I have divided this section into three parts, movements, combat, and building. Ninja recently changed his mouse from Logitech G502 to Final Mouse Ultralight Pro. And he also changed some of the keybinds a few weeks ago. So, if you find different keybinds in other articles slash videos, that's completely okay. He has changed his keybinds on more than one occasion. When it comes to keybinds, most people like to have a similar set of keys across various different games. But the building aspect of Fortnite makes a major difference here. You need to set the stairs, wall, and floor to keys that you can quickly press and develop muscle memory of. It is completely okay if you are not comfortable with the building keybinds of most pro players. Instead of frequently switching to various keybinds, choose the ones you're most comfortable with and get used to them. Gear of Ninja All the products listed here are top-notch but expensive at the same time. These gaming accessories are not only used by Ninja but also by hundreds of top-tier competitive esports players. Ninja earlier used the Logitech G502, but he recently switched to Final Mouse Ultralight Pro. Both the mouse are great and are highly recommended from my side. The HyperX Fury Pro mouse pad is one of the top mouse pads out there and it also made it to our top mouse pad picks. The Corsair K70 Rapid Fire is an RGB mechanical keyboard. It comes with Cherry MX switches. A detachable wrist rest is also included with the Corsair K70. Coming to the monitor, he has an Alienware AW2518H. It is a full HD 240Hz monitor with NVIDIA G-Sync support. If you own a G-Sync enabled NVIDIA GPU, buying a G-Sync enabled monitor is the best choice you can make. For video capture and streaming, Ninja uses Elgato HD 60 Pro capture card with OBS Studio. Ninja's NVIDIA control panel settings. He mentioned that he uses the default NVIDIA settings. But he is G-Sync enabled since his monitor supports this technology. If you have a decent graphics card, there's absolutely no need to change any of the NVIDIA control panel settings. 
but if you have a low-end PCs, the NVIDIA control panel settings mentioned in this guide will help you out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest news and updates. Drop a comment below sharing your favorite gaming setup tips or what you'd like to see next on the channel. Let's build a gaming community together.